that I'm uh, really happy to be part of this, this wonderful planet. I really feel the connection to our planet when I'm swimming in the sea. I gave something to my planet and gave something back to my planet, so I'm part of it. That's my connection. My children, because uh, the day I will have left the planet, they and the upcoming generations will still be there. Yeah, I would say that the treasures of this planet is the natural resources and everything that we get from nature in order to survive. Everything that is untouched. I think it's more the, the sense of calmness that it gives me when I'm with alone or with my family, you know, just, just walking around in, in nature. We do not really have this kind of forest or nature in, in the neighborhood of my city, so... I think it's so genius how each ecosystem works for itself, how it is constructed, but also how they are connected to each other. It's tricky. It's tricky. <laughs> it is. The biggest treasure, if it's there, is peace. That I can go everywhere I want to be. Family, friends and colleagues. Without water you don't have life. The animals and plants on the planet. To be healthy. The trees, the birds, uh, and the quietness sometimes. I try to spend as much time as I can with my family. We should um, appreciate them maybe more or be more thankful for the time we have with them. Freedom and democracy taken for granted by most of us, but they need to be defended day by day. They will treasure what they receive from the nature. Nowadays I see that there's many exploitations and um, yeah, people really take it for granted what they receive, like natural resources. The difference is whether you see it as a treasure that you can make money off or you see it as a treasure that you need to preserve. We would have a more peaceful world if everyone would appreciate everything that we have. The vulnerability of our planet would be much more obvious for everyone.